Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in the nether here on the Citadel server. We were actually working on the iron farm, but this was the easiest place to AFK before the stream because we have removed the front door of the little uh, collection area for the farm. Started that yesterday. We have to move the portal. We have to do a bunch of different things. And uh, I also want to try and keep Zombified Piglin from coming in here too. Mind Trip Media, thank you very much for the 100 bits to kick off the stream. Appreciate it. Sweet Sandy, Blast Jordan, Jay Christ. I saw the real pickle here as well. Dan Grice, good to see everybody. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Uh, my inventory is full because I was taking some screenshots and I was picking up the shulker boxes. And I think, unfortunately, I just have too many. And I think I should probably... We're probably not going to have to worry too much about this area. So I think what I'll do is I'll put some of them in here and we'll just grab them as we need them. And that should be helpful. And I guess I'll start to pile them over here. Just so that we're a little closer. Got a bed. Uh, what else do I want? Might grab some scaffolding. Crafting table if we need it. And one of those. So the first thing I want to do is I want to lower this whole thing. I unfortunately made the mistake yesterday of just creating on the same level of this existing spot. And we need to lower this all by two blocks, three blocks. I also need some light in here. <sighs> this is why I don't want these guys here. They just walk and get in your way constantly. So this is going to be the walk out to the door. You know what? How many of you are there? At least two. They hit like trucks. Where's your buddy? Is there another one? No, I guess we're okay. I mean, I'm wearing an elytra, I'm not wearing armor. I might leave the ceiling as high as we have it. I need my nether box. That is in here. And you're still mad at me. Why am I on fire? I guess they're mad because maybe one of them went back through? I don't know. And the salt. Oh, I had built that in the wrong spot. Crap.
Cosmic Dancer, hello. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Oh, that's the wrong block. And I wanted to put this out farther, right? I don't think I want to make it quite this tall, but having an extra couple blocks is going to be good. What is this? This is one, two, three, four wide, four wide. So at least six tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to go at least seven then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unknown, welcome back. Turing79, hello, hello. You're having a good day. I don't know if the basalt is what we're going to keep back there, but it seems to make the most sense right now. We also have deep slate iron ore, which we could try to work in here somewhere too. So I think I want this to come down just the one block. Do we think that's too tall? What do we think, this height or one block higher? I think that height probably. Yeah, why not? I feel like that works okay. Sweet Sandy, thanks for being awesome. Sorry you have to exercise the moderation skills so early on a Saturday.
Again, I hesitate to use this all over the place because it is a custom texture, but I feel like it suits the build. I think I might want to put some sort of like lava effect in the floor. We might have like orange glass or something here. I think that could be fun. So something like this. I don't know, maybe, maybe not right down the middle. Maybe we put it on the sides. I don't know, but we'll do something to that effect. Guess you should put a bed down somewhere. So what I probably should do, what is this? Dark oak or spruce? That's dark oak. We'll put that in temporarily just to see if we like it and it jives with us. Oh, it's higher. Whoops. I thought it looked kind of funny. I've only been streaming for a few minutes and already we're using spruce trapdoors. That's the toolbox. I wanted the iron box. Whoops. So my only beef is that that might not look the coolest from in here. I'd like to try and maybe hide that a little bit. Uh, basalt again. We do not have a lot of basalt.
That might work. That leaves us four spots. I also really need to move this portal. Some blue campfires? Where would I put those? DJ Crazy, hello, welcome in. Uh, no, we didn't finish the uh, Transformer build in Satisfactory. That's a huge project. Um, what we're doing, though, uh, we're going to be hopping back into Satisfactory over the next little while and preparing for 1.0, the 1.0 release. Uh, I want to try and combine my saves, but it might not work. I might not like it. So I want to do that on my own. But ultimately, we're just going to keep the same the same thing going forward, the same playthrough, same world. I think that's a good size portal. Uh, you just need to complete the top of it. And just make sure that I'm not too high here. It has to go one higher than that. So I did have it too high here. I can't see, but I think that's done. Yep. So let's find out. Man, that's loud. Holy crap. So this should take us through to the right spot in the nether. Yep, that's good. We only get nudged because of the people standing there. Is there a way that I could block those guys from going up there? Other than a ladder? I guess I could put fence gates or something down. Moving and adjusting to the nodes might be a bit of a pain to fix, but yeah, with so that's the thing. Like we're just we're collecting a lot of stuff from different nodes around in the Devastator build on Satisfactory, but I've not really built factories around the nodes, so to speak. So all of our, the thing, the real the real pain is going to be, um, the real pain is going to be, um adjusting all the the ratios because the factory was built on nodes producing a certain amount the the recipes might change so there's going to be a lot of adjustments but there's just too much built to start over again there's too many aesthetic things too many measurements that i've done over and over again i just don't want to um i just don't want to do it again plus i have um never mind the fact that i've got 
uh, all that aesthetic building in the Devastator build, I also have like 60,000 megawatts of power that I'm barely touching. The Megatron power facility is fantastic. Like it's really, really cool. And as long as that hasn't changed too much, then um, I will be very happy to continue the save. All right, so I feel like one of the things I should probably do is work on what I think the outside here should look like. Don't necessarily want to copy what I've got going on over here. So some of that might go away. We can mess with all that later, but that's roughly where I want to be. This can go. All right, so we've got some entrance design stuff happening here. have potentially chests there so that gives us one one two three four five six seven odd number is good odd number is good to mess with don't know if that's exactly what we're going to be doing here i do like it Again, I just, I don't want to copy what we've got happening out here. As long as it doesn't mess up the save, like corrupt it, DJ Crazy for Satisfactory, then I should be okay. I, I don't mind doing the work. I'm okay with putting some work in, that's fine. Yeah, I feel like we could probably do... glass over here maybe this should be more deep slate these are all going to come down I'm on the fence about using chests or shulker boxes. I feel like if we had some extra shulker boxes, it would be really cool to use like gray, like dark gray shulker boxes in there. I think that would look better than chests. Fire hooks.
So it's a little bit look odd looking because it's not symmetrical. I might want to push this back. Maybe we could have another light column here. Chief Blazes, hello. Creeper farmers working better than they thought. That's good. Stuff being better than you thought is always a good way to start the day. So I like this copper pipe thing. The thing is we don't we're not gonna need that many chests. I kind of almost want the chests to be on a higher level. Maybe we could have like smoke underneath the chests. So instead of this being um, glass, maybe we could have it be smoke from campfires. Kind of like them up on a platform like that. Like if that was shulker boxes, then that would be fine. Just have to remember that shulker boxes take up like the full block space. And then that can kind of mimic what we've got going on in there. So maybe we could have, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold on. If I have those and those, and I use some black, another brick in the background, Yeah, that sort of mimics what's going on there. And maybe we could even turn that sideways. And then we could just have hoppers going into... These could be double chests if we wanted them to be, or I could have them be shulker boxes and we could just have hoppers going right into them that would be cool and then this could be more deep slate rather than black nether brick deep slate tile yeah I think I like that Oh, and then maybe we could have, we might be able to put some lava behind it or something. Or certainly have it lit from below. Where'd my shroom lights go? Quick and easy. They make such a silly noise. I 
We'll mess around with the all the background stuff later. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, there's a little bit more basalt happening, but feels inspired by, but maybe not a direct copy. And I don't think at this stage we're really, we've got the hints of the magma, but then the real reveal is the magma out here. So like, I don't want to, I don't think I want to do this big magma column thing. So I don't know what to do there yet. Maybe that should be copper. Maybe... Maybe that's what we should do. Or this could... You know what? Copper would be better here. That would match better. No, where'd my copper box go? There it is. We are running out of space. Yeah, maybe we could do something like that. Also, we've got these cool pipes in the ground out here. We could use that in this space as well. Just not entirely sure about the basalt. I like that. Maybe we just need to add one more or nudge it. I like this basalt, but I don't know about the double, double column. Yeah, the new way that you update netherite stuff is definitely tricky. I agree, Chief Blazes. You like the light from the sides. So those you mean? Or or the the stuff. Yeah, I see what you mean. I just again I just don't know about this. Like what do we put in the background there? I don't want to do this, right? This is what I'm trying to avoid is doing that because we have that out here. Same thing there, like I don't want to put that there.
that could be cool there. And then we could have a back part to this. Yeah, that feels a little strange. Maybe we'll have to put something else up there. Either way, I think roughly that location is what I would want for the chests. What I, I'm just trying to figure out like where we want things to be so I can start to run... Um, the the flowing materials like I want to do the redstone yeah I'm not sure about this but we're gonna put it in for now and then maybe here we could do something else I guess you can't see that. Sometimes the brain works in mysterious ways. It's okay, it's not the best. I'd be tempted to actually move it so that it's not right up against the glass. Yeah, and then maybe move this one too. kind of cool. I don't mind that. If I wanted to, I could even have it maybe go down here underneath. 
That could be kind of fun too. Jake Rest, always trust the mind of an artist. Sometimes. Sometimes the mind of an artist can be self-critical. I think that's sufficiently unique. And then we'll give this some space over here. Not sure like that. Maybe we'll go back to another brick. I'm looking for ways to use less of the nether brick, so I might want to exchange that for deep slate and then just use the nether brick for like the highlights. So I could see this being better maybe if this was right, like if we just use the nether brick for like the, the trim. Because we really only have it like as like the background here. Whoops. We could also use stairs here to help this look a little bit more 3D. And it doesn't affect the way that you walk on it, of course. Don't think I want another steam pipe over there. Then we'll have to put in more of the what will be shulker boxes, I guess. Not sure why I never thought about using this chest before. only four Jay Chris no worries I appreciate that, you know, every once in a while you got to give yourself a screen break. I feel that. I always feel bad because I, I spend such a long time streaming and then I go and I raid somebody and I really need a break, right? So then I don't end up staying for their stream because I just, I really need to get away from the computer for a bit. So the cool thing is with shulker boxes, we could put labels on what's inside like this. And the idea is that we're going to be producing iron blocks, poppies, red dye, bone meal, and white dye. That's the plan. So probably iron on this side and then poppies, red dye, white dye, and pink dye. 
I don't think we need to save the bone meal. I think the bone meal is going to be something that we just use for the white dye. I like the feel of this. I think it's pretty good. I think we can probably start to remove some of this other stuff now. I really don't know what's going to happen with the landscaping out here. I'd like to try and curve these corners so I know what I'm going to be dealing with. But I think we need to take all of this out. We're going to find places for all of this stuff. I think I might have to go back to... Um, I might have to go back to... West Hill and get my other shulker boxes. So I've definitely run out of room. One of these has got more spare stuff in it. Well, before the break, let's do that. Let's go get some extra storage space here so I'm not just driving myself crazy. I also need more basalt, wherever that's going to be found. So basalt, smooth basalt. I'm okay. Can you craft anything with this? No. Is it smel is it smelted? Uh, the name tags on the shulker box is vanilla, or is that part of the mod? Uh, the name tags like the carved deep slate. That's vanilla. You can do that in vanilla. Uh, the two mods that we use for shulker boxes are shulker plus which is the the item and that you just put the item and the shulker box in an anvil and it does the thing for you uh only looks good in my opinion with items it does not look good for blocks the blocks can the blocks like they stick out like that it's essentially like putting something in an item frame is what it looks like right um and then the other shulker uh, mod that i have is this one you just hit shift and it shows you what's inside forget about that cactus All right, we are going to empty. Some of these are full. I'm going to take that back. And I'm going to take that back. I'm going to bring back some other stuff.
Okay, so I need extra shulker boxes. I need basalt if I've got any. And I need to empty some of the stone. All right, if you're watching and you're new, uh, these little trips are always fun because you get to see other parts of the server. Oh, I guess I should bring the shulker box for the basalt. That would have been smart. Bring that. Yes, road trip. Now, do I have any basalt just hanging out in here? I feel like I checked this already. I do not. There might have been some downstairs, but I don't remember. We'll check that first. The problem with having so many different workrooms. See, like this kind of stuff is cool. I should remember the um, the cauldron at the base of the pillars. That's kind of cool. Maybe that's how we can sneak in some magma in, in the other. Uh... Oh, there's a hole in the glass right there. That's not good. Like this is kind of a fun design. Maybe we can do something like that. That would be cool. I mean, it looks really cool now because I got shaders on. I feel like I was here looking for basalt before. I'll bring a stack of those back. Some obsidian. Yeah, deja vu. What was in there? Blaze rods, block coal, right. It's always wild going up this ladder. Wild Nether. I always get turned around in here too. Shrine bird, thanks very much for the raid. That's really nice of you. Welcome in. What were you doing on stream? Uh, break after road trip. Yes, correct, Sandy. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, still looking for basalt. I guess. I don't think I have anything in the modern city. We should maybe. Cosmic was kind and DM'd me, and said the next time you need stuff. To try and look through their chests doing a little minecraft building says shrine bird very cool what were you building folks in my chat if you want to go check out what shrine bird was doing on stream you can follow that little heart in chat uh shrine bird thanks again for bringing over your viewers folks if you're new to my stream my name is joel duggan and i stream full-time as well as a podcast full-time that is my job as a content creator uh the podcast is the spawn chunks that's the main one it's all about minecraft you probably heard of it we uh do that every week on Mondays. That's myself and Pixel Riffs. And then I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast, which is right now once a month for the summer. Uh, we talk about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Very much looking forward to the return of Rings of Power in the next little while. There's also a Lord of the Rings cartoon coming out, which is going to be cool. Or I shouldn't say cartoon. It's an animated series. Looks really well done. Working on recreating a church from in real life. Very cool. That's awesome, Shrinebird. 
Once again, folks, if you want to go follow Shrinebird, the link is in the chat. No worries, Shrinebird. I, I often have to raid and run myself. Uh, we will enjoy the rest of the day and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of yours. Diorite, andesite, wood fences, new blocks. Smooth basalt, but not basalt basalt. I've not raided Cosmic Stash that often, so I don't know where they keep all their stuff. The salt was part of the Nether update. I mean, I know where there's a Delta. I could just go get some. It's probably going to be faster. Okay. No dice. That greenhouse almost looks like water with the shaders on. It's really cool. I think there was only the smooth basalt. I didn't see more than one kind. Uh, we'll just go. I, I might have some. No, I'd imagine it's probably in a shulker box. See, this is where we've used a lot of the black nether brick, but like even then, it's more like accents, not like the whole thing. And it doesn't look terrible with vanilla textures. It's just that the black nether brick is just a nice. I really wish we had that naturally. Nothing wrong with the floor. Uh, you know what? We're here. It's really fast to get to the modern city. I might have basalt there. I was using it for pavement. The block bank is just up the road. It's really funny the amount of real estate that Minecraft takes up in your brain. Like, playing on this server several times a week for seven years, I just... I know it like my own city, you know, like when I'm walking around getting places here at home. It's the same sort of idea here. Do we have any other basalt stuff? A lot of gunpowder. I want to say there was a pavement box somewhere that I had put together. These are all the same blocks top to bottom. Street box, no basalt. At least I know where there's more nether brick. Holy crap. Alright, it was worth checking out anyway. server reset overnight so we have a slightly longer render distance now until the bobby mod is fixed that's kind of where we're at we are not going to get there before sunset crap been a minute west hill been a minute
It is kind of cool to see it from the air, too. You're right, Sandy. I'm really curious to see what endgame things they're going to come up with for uh, minecarts that, now that Mojang is trying to f give players more options for endgame travel. See, I was hoping it was going to be in here. There is no basalt. This is all cobbled deep slate. Nope. Blackstone. Right. One thing that I want to do is bring those back. And I also wanted... Oh, I guess I had all of the things. Right, this is what I wanted to do. You know what, we'll just do that. And then stone, I'm gonna grab at least two rows because we're mining out all kinds of it. That'll give me some more room to put stuff away. Got our spare shulker boxes. But still no basalt. Don't think there's a point in bringing that actually. I'm going to AFK in here and uh, take my break. So if you're new to the stream, I do take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to grab another glass of water. You can grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. We're trying to grow the channel, uh, increase the viewership, because the more people that watch, uh, the better the stream does. Uh, and it costs nothing for you to recommend it to friends. So if you wouldn't mind uh, sharing it around, I really appreciate it. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
All right. I think we'll have to figure out where we can get some basalt. We might have to go get some, just mine it up. Thank you, Sandy. Grandpa Crafter, hello, hello, welcome in. Oh, you know what? We could check the barn. We might have some in the barn. We can take the back way now, actually. Just realize that. There's a road that goes this way now. I'm really looking forward to having this area all finished up. It's almost like a little town outside the town. A little farming community. It might actually make sense to have a little little path here, you know? Do I have any basalt in here? Survey says it does not look like it. That's all vegetable stuff. Yeah. Was worth checking just in case. We just we really haven't used basalt that much in this area. I do have grass. I have so much grass, Sandy. It's scary. And I know I could get rid of it, but like sooner or later there's going to be that project where you're landscaping and you're going to need just like a ton of dirt and grass. And I know I'm going to need it. So. It's both the benefit and the pain of playing on a long-term server is or a long-term world, I guess, in general is just like you have the benefit of always having stuff, but you have the curse of like always trying to figure out where to put stuff and remembering where you put stuff. That's something I'm actually kind of a little concerned about with Satisfactory is trying to get my brain back into that game after being away from it for so long. I mean, I have a spreadsheet and I have math, <laughs> I have numbers, but I like, I vaguely remember my plan I don't exactly know. And I guess the plan might change with the recipes and stuff changing too. I can't think of another place where I would have basalt stored up. Maybe the wither farm? We'll try there really quick. Uh, did you mine any out when you built the witch farm? The witch farm? No, there, there would have been no basalt there. The witch farm's in the overworld. If anything, I thought that the, the netherite tunnels would have been the, the spot where we would have run into some. I love that you can do most of the stuff in this server with one rocket. It's pretty cool. Oh, and before I start, before I storm off angry. No basalt in there. Nothing there. I don't think there's any other storage anywhere. Just down below. No. This would have been where it would be, because down below is nothing but what's coming out of the farm. Nuts. Okay. One of the other reasons I really like having a longer render distance on the server is being able to see across the nether a lot easier. We'll check the witch farm since I'm here, but I really, really doubt it. It might be where I've stored some, but it's not certainly not where I would have dug it up. 
I like this area too. I should do more work here. No, this has been picked pretty dry. And it's not something I would mine up because all of the blocks here are very early game. Yeah, smooth basalt is something you can get in the overworld. But I need to create polished basalt, so I need a regular. That's right. I know where there is a delta. Uh, actually, there's a couple. Hold on. Mm. I think it's north. Be sure it's north. Hello, Arctic. Hello. Welcome in. Saturday's been fantastic so far. I went to the farmer's market this morning, got some great food, and uh, came home and made strawberry blueberry pancakes. So, the day is off to a good start. It's also a beautiful day. Uh, it was. <laughs> I really wish I could sit outside. I, I ate my first couple of pancakes outside on the balcony, but it was just so hot. I had sweat dripping down my forehead. I was like, this is lovely to be outside and eating breakfast, but like I've got no shade in my my back balcony. So the basalt delta should be over there. And I don't have a bow on me, so we'll have to be sneaky. Let's go up here and maybe collect some up high. Less chance of a ghast, more chance of dying in lava. Joy. Okay. I don't need a ton. A couple stacks, maybe? Plus up here, we're not going to ruin the landscape for anybody else that might have ideas. Sometimes, you know, it is faster when you're running around a server that's seven years old. It is faster to... I thought the lava was coming. It is faster to just... Um, Go find some and mine it. You know, like, we could have done this before going all the way to West Hill. I mean, I needed my shulker boxes. Like, it wasn't a waste of a trip. much blackstone there was in basalt deltas. It's about the only place that looks good. I find it so purple. All 
All right, that should do. Now we are taking a left. That's right, you can make basalt generators too. That's smart. I should do see this is these are the things that I want to do in the sci-fi area. Like I want to have all of those like block farms available to me. And I feel like my sci-fi world would be great because we could create like a lab, you know? My strat for making them? I have no idea. I would probably follow someone like Impulse SV. All right, so we have spare shulker boxes now, which is good. Why is it still showing me the nether? That's weird. Oh no, it's showing me all the caves. Wow, that's wild. I don't use the map for anything other than just surface level. You know, I don't, I don't try to be too cheeky with it. Stone and andesite. And basalt. It's over here. Ah, I should have repaired my elytra. So we have to take this down too. Piggy, you are getting on my nerves. So those all have to stay there roughly for now. Now there is a water stream in here somewhere and I want to try to block it up. I'm probably better off doing that down here. Uh, yeah, I can always redo this if I need to. Not bring the right blocks though. Man, I had all kinds of stuff in the ceiling that I didn't know about. Uh, season 9? No, season 10. Uh, whatever 
impulse is doing lately is what I would probably be doing. I may also just come up with my own design. I just don't know the mechanics. Once I learn what the mechanics are, I can come up with my own. But for now, I actually don't know. So I'm not going to... Oops. I'm not going to completely fill this in because I think I might still want to do a tunnel. But I do need to sort out how the edge of this is going to go. And I might want to do that with andesite. At least roughly. Oh, back when we thought glowstone was the coolest block to light stuff with. Early, early days. So if this was a gray shulker box, I'll grab one of these just as an example. And we use the die. Oh, I should get one of these. Well, actually, I'll show people that were wondering earlier. This is why we don't use the blocks. Because when you put them down, they stick out like that, which on the wall is okay. Like it's not that bad on the wall, but on the ground, it looks really kind of silly. I don't know why they didn't lower it down, but I prefer that look so if we were able to get extra shulkers which is I mean totally doable the only problem of course if I decide to do that it's gonna hide all of that behind there so we can't do the cool effect so maybe we keep the chests The only other thing I could think of would be to have the shulkers like recessed back like that. I mean, we could flip the stairs around and still light them from below. So we could do that and have this happen. Was it shroom lights? Yeah. Boop. So there are still ways to work in a little bit of that glowing look with the shulker boxes. We just have to kind of switch the way things are happening.
Right. I mean, now if all that was magma and it wasn't just the sides. So that's one way to do it. We could also um, have this be a slab instead. I do kind of like the stuff in the background. Slab is not as cool as I thought it was going to be. very similar to a shulker box. Probably like great concrete. Shulker monster grows. So I don't have any other orange glass right at the moment. I guess I could make some. Do I have extra? We've got universal dying as a data pack, which is very handy. So it's kind of placeholders, we could do something like that. Hmm, I don't know. These do look a little silly, just kind of sitting there. Also, we have no way of getting stuff into there. We'd have to put hoppers behind them anyway. So even though that looks cool, I, I don't have any way of getting stuff into those. Sweet Sandy, I think you and I arrived to that at the same time. So here we could ob obviously have the hoppers going in the back, right? So if I'm going to put a hopper back there... Um, that would change a bunch of stuff. Probably end up using two. Don't like that he's there. That's not good. Uh, let's sleep quickly. And I'm going to be cheeky and just fly away. So here's some of our markers for the old spawn chunks. The way that it used to be in 112 see the the border that was obviously far enough yeah no creepers blowing up the shulkers today nope So we can still have sort of the effect, it just won't have the magma right behind it. Right, so we could have another hopper uh, here. And I mean, back here would be whatever 
is bringing the stuff up, which is probably going to be a water stream. I do this a lot behind my redstone builds where I just, I completely have like this background to them. Like that, it's still subtle, like you can still see it. Uh, the problem of course is that there'd be something in front of that. So what you'd see here would probably have water in front of it. So we'd have to be careful how we handle that. But it's still doable. Uh, this is probably a little bit more straightforward. Do we even need the glass? Dude, unimpressed. Well, going through the nether is going to be interesting next time. I don't know that we need the glass, you know? He obviously didn't talk to his friend. Future Joel problem, yeah. I the only thing I don't like about this is the the stair here. I wish we had just a little bit more happening. No. Maybe we could bring in the acacia trapdoors from the farm way up there, part of that design. Uh, acacia. That looks like day one design. <laughs> Um, hmm. Maybe we put them the other way? Feels a little bit more structural. don't mind that but this just feels very chunky maybe it's because I'm using the deep slate when I should be using the polished deep slate like I'm using the tiles and then we go above here Wish we had black trapdoors, that would be cool. What's the closest thing we have? We don't really have one. It yeah, this is nether brick. It's just black instead of instead of the maroon. Dark Oak doesn't have any holes in it.
Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I th I think part of it's just like I just don't like that part, right? You know, what about going down here with the deep slate? That's a little bit better, maybe. I was actually thinking about having this be deep slate anyway. And then only using the black nether brick in the in the highlights there. Can maybe add a little bit more depth to it too. Oh, not that way. Subtle, but it works. And if we wanted to, we could have another little window up there, just like that. That was a weird zoom in. I'm not sure why it was moving so slow. Maybe that's too much. Maybe we put lava back there. Because that would be under the shulker boxes, right? Right, so that here would be hoppers. So we'd have to have space for hoppers. It's that, or maybe we do it the other way around, where we have the stairs go this way. And this also covers up the hoppers, which is nice. And we have the Bernie window there. I think I like that better. It'll be better if it's lava as well. Although that's going to be really tricky having lava over the hoppers. I mean, it's all in the same space. We're just switching the way that the, the little peekaboo window looks. Could also do stairs this way. Nope. Why does it keep on doing that? I think maybe something smaller would be good.
Yeah. Smaller is better, I agree. I agree. This feels very simple, though. This feels a little bit more complicated, but maybe simple is good. Let's put in some deep slate tile here. I think I prefer that. Did I not have like a stack of deep slate tile? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I like the tile better than the dark. It's just it's very high contrast. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good, good, good. And do we need to... Put stuff at the base of these. No. Maybe. That's too much. Plus it hides that. That's not terrible. Not crazy about this though. Kind of a weird tangent corner. Yeah, the stairs were better. Maybe we'll just, um, how did I have that before? Hmm. Kind of a happy accident. What if I then put stairs going this way? What am I hitting? That's pretty good. I'm almost not sure about the dark now. I think it's because these feel so bland. They're just kind of like the placeholders. It's Ray. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Uh, no, I don't think copper trap doors will work either. Although, I guess... I think it would be just too much copper. The copper trap doors tend to be very, very busy. That's the only thing. I think I might want to drop this down too. It's not as obvious. I thought it would be more obvious. Maybe I need to have the actual um, acacia log there. I 
That's better. Still not great. But better. Maybe. Really wish we had ways of dropping the stuff down half a block, but I know we don't. It might be good just to have it come straight out. Quite what I wanted. What about dropping this down too? Uh, it feels very symmetrical then. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. Chief Blazes, welcome back. Thanks for the kind words. Maybe I had the right idea. I just have to do it over here. All this, and I still haven't done any of the mechanical stuff. Hmm. Yeah, again, it just feels very, very copycat. Maybe the thing here will be, I don't know. We've got, got this pipe going across, got the pipe up there. I'll need something else over in this corner. It doesn't have to be there. Need some wax too, or honeycomb, I should say. Joel is definitely not a perfectionist. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. 
I'm not even sure if I should keep that. It might be fun just to have this just in the floor, you know? Still not sure what's happening here at the back. Somewhere I ha thought I had some of these. Guess I didn't have them pre pre waxed. Oh, someone was asking about these. Yeah, too shiny. And there's something very furnace-like about the vertical lines. Now, do I want that to be connected there? Hmm, maybe on this side, Instead of here, we connect here. And maybe, maybe this runs the full length. Tired of running outside. Inventory is just full of garbage. I'm not even sure where the signs came from. Must have been part of the, the waterworks, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's not too bad. Wouldn't mind if it went down. Maybe like we could also bring it down here. It's a little in your face, it's a little low. Pretty good. But then what did we do at the top over there? I feel like we had something. Okay, we had slabs one block back. Yeah, that sort of works. Close that up. I think that's okay. I think maybe we don't go this high. I 
And we could do something in there, like a slab, maybe. Of all the times... Like I said, we'll figure out what the outside's going to look like as well. We can mess with that. So that's one idea. We'd have to amend it to allow for the hoppers. But then this one, the hoppers are completely hidden. And I would argue even more accessible because we could also put another line back here. And it's an iron farm, so like I've, we've got lots of hoppers. But I like that. And I like this. Still not sure what to put in here. Maybe that's a good spot to sneak in our uh, our ore. I mean, it's okay, it's just very dark. I would like that to be lit up somehow. have quite the same effect when it's not going into the into the thing maybe this one goes past it Would deep slate copper ore pop more? Well, I mean, copper would pop, but I don't tend to want to do that. Plus, it's an iron farm. I could... Don't want to have that be even. Could bump that back a bit. It's 
if I do that, that looks very square, which is not great. I was thinking about changing this. That's actually a little bit more interesting. Maybe, hmm, how do I want to? I don't know. Anyway, I need to take another short break for folks that uh, are new to the channel. I do step away for five minutes once an hour. I'm a little bit past that. And uh, I do want to stream a little bit more. I kind of want to finish this thought. So uh, if you want to hang out here for another five or six minutes, I'm going to take a short break and I will be right back.
Chief Blazes, thanks ever so much for gifting out those gift subs. That went to Hilaritic, House of Meza, and Macabre MC. Thanks very much. Folks, if you received one of those gift subs, then please connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. You'll find it in the Connections tab after you connect your accounts under Discord. In Discord Options, you'll see the Joel Duggan Discord that you can then join. Uh, also, House of Meza, hello. Appreciate the lurk. I've never really had this many in the area before, but I do like that. It's a little on the, like I said, it's a little on the dim side, but maybe we can come up with some other ways to light it up top. Um, I think I like this side better. I think it's more fun. So we'll tear these out when I have more room and it's not nighttime. Put that away. We're going to need hoppers. If only there was iron to craft them. Freaking iron everywhere. I really wish the programming on mobs wasn't like, be in your face all the time. I think that's what we want. So placeholder is this, like that. We'll cut a hole. I'm pretty sure I had three, um, which I'm gonna call it hoppers, but for this, these are all gonna be the same thing. This is all gonna be iron, so we really just have um, no. I guess we do have to have yeah. It'll be hopper, 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 and then that, and then from there we can probably. I guess somehow divide it. I'm not sure. Problem for future Joel. What I'm hoping to get to is um, at least a location where we're going to bring the iron up. And I guess I can change this and put this over here. Future shulker box. So we've got stare that nope that way. I can't aim today to save my life. And then underneath, next to that, we've got four shroom lights. And 
they're on the shroom lights. And then behind the shroom lights and the side is the magma blocks. So I'll leave that side open. And then there's the hoppers. And then we have magma blocks on top of the hoppers. And then these have changed. And that is a stair. Uh, Sweet Sandy says, may I point out a nice chat from Chief Blazes? Joel, I appreciate the chill vibes and community you've created. Thanks very much. Sorry I missed that. Was I on break? Oh, no. that's That happened just recently. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks for highlighting that, Sandy. And uh, thank you, Chief Blazes. I, I think it's a combination of uh, making the kind of content that you would like to watch. I don't know why I enunciated that quite like that, but making the kind of content that you like to watch brings in people that I think are like you. Uh, and then also a combination of just, I think, striving for having that chill kind of community, but also, um, oh, these are supposed to be black nether bricks. Wait a minute. Well, since I've done it that way, no, the black's better. Um, once you kind of establish that and it starts to go forward, then you've got great people like Sandy and Cosmic and uh, the Mighty Elkhorn, uh, all of whom are fantastic, like, baton holders when it comes to taking your, your community and moving it forward as moderators. And as you just saw, I, I miss stuff a lot. And so it's it's great to have the mods around to be able to catch stuff and it uh it really is a community effort i must say i think that looks the same obviously we've got this little thing here i might throw in a different color concrete there just to show that they're going to be different shulker boxes It's going to be an ugly gray, but whatever. Like I said, I can't aim today. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Makes my eye twitch. I could probably use uh, polished deep slate instead. At least they'll be squares. I think that looks all right. So then here is where we will have everything come in. And there's, unless we do a water stream, there's no real way to do this evenly. So we'll probably end up just doing a water stream over the top of this stuff. So I'm going to need a little bit more space. And I imagine it'll come up right here. And I needed to know what that is. 325? Where is that currently coming up? 320. That should be easy enough to change.
325 and 66. So that's the filter. It's now I need 323, 4, 25, and 60. Is it negative 66? Yep. That is way over here. Wow. And there goes my redstone. Shoot. Well, need to block that up anyway. I was so close. So that is just the auto dropper stuff. That would have to move anyway. Send it up here. But it's probably going to be better for me to move the filter. Uh, we can have this filter out the iron over here easier, I think. We can probably do it right here on the corner. The red-headed Jew, hello, welcome back. Appreciate it. Uh, we are still working on the iron farm. The decoration is done, but we're working on the guts of it. Changing up a bunch of stuff here. and then the other one would be so this is going to need some sort of special filter what I need to do is check the Y level so we are at 64 So, down to 64. Ooh, interesting. That's going to be a problem. We'll have to use this space here. There's water in that space. So what I'll have to do down here is have a bunch of filters and we're gonna have to drop down. Um, from here, we're have, gonna have to do some crafting. We're gonna have to do some auto crafting. So we'll filter out the iron ingots and send them over to an auto crafter and then the auto crafter will make the blocks and put them up this side is going to be real simple but i want to attempt to make 
white dye, red dye, and pink dye, as well as save some of the poppies. So I would imagine, unfortunately, we're going to have to rethink about the back end of our farms here, because this is how we turn on the moss farm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. But we do have all this space. Like, we have all this space here. And really, the only thing I have to worry about is sending stuff up, but not there. I would probably pick a different spot. And it can be anywhere as farther this direction. So, like, we could have that come up over here as long as it's inside the wall. Right. It'll be tight, but we can do it. Alternately, we don't have to have it come up on this side. We could, instead of the water flowing um, this way, we could have it come from back here to have things go over. I, tr I don't want to try to get into too, too complicated a mess down there. We could also bring it back from over here. Hold on one second, folks. Just give me one second, folks. I just got an Amazon delivery, and it'll just take one second for them to drop it up at my front door. I will be right back. Let me just pop into the nether quick. Give me two seconds. All right, sorry about that. Originally, everything was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but we had a bunch of stuff that got delayed. And also, in my indecision in trying to buy some new stuff yesterday, I ordered two of the same thing that arrived earlier today. So now we're going to make a return. Silliness, I just wasn't paying attention. When I made my Amazon purchase a couple days ago, I, I thought like, man, that feels like a lot more money than I was planning on spending. Well, when you order two of the same thing when you only need one, that will absolutely increase... <laughs> <laughs> the cost of things but there were like four or five items in the list and i just missed the fact that i had an extra tab open and so one checkout had one of everything and the other checkout had two of the same thing so i ended up getting two so whoops it's all right i'll have to return it returning stuff to amazon is pretty easy so yeah we could go back the other direction this is going to be really tricky because i have to filter these as separate separate items There'll be a lot of deep redstone, I think, happening down there. But we can move the filter, and I can I think I can hook up this pretty easily today. We will just need to get a bucket. I should have all the redstone things down there. So we'll give ourselves a temporary source here. And it should be pretty straightforward. So there is item hopper. That's the filter hopper. So 
So I'm just going to remove that. And probably this is the best spot for it. Comparator. I guess we'll just keep making it out of spruce. I don't know why. I might want to change it eventually, but... It's been a while since I've made one of these. I think the reason I was doing this in spruce is that if I ever was mining down here, you don't want to mine up your redstone. Uh, so that goes there. Pretty sure this goes like this. Redstone torch. I guess I should put that repeater on an actual block. And then more hoppers. And that should filter out Should filter out all the stuff. Uh, oh, well, wait, that's gonna get that there. And now we just need to put the water back. That goes around the corner. And now, what we should see is iron get pulled in there. And hoppies go, poppies go past. If I could throw it in the water, that would be helpful. Hoppies go around the corner. And... Uh-oh. Oh, it has to build up. Did I? I only put one in there, didn't I? Shouldn't that not be the... What did I do? Oh, I'm missing redstone. There we go. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. All right, so that is um, eventually going to be into crafters, but for now, maybe what we should do is put it in a water stream and just have it go into the shulker box. So that is the filter, and that is the output. And the tricky part about that is that you have to drop it. I mean, it's an ongoing farm, so it doesn't really matter. Basically, if you put something here, if you put another hopper here, this 
There's always going to be one stuck in there because this will lock this hopper. And it won't be until, like, if I put these out, like, this won't actually output anything until this starts blinking, right? So... We could... Well, we have to get rid of all this. It's already broken anyway. There's our extra stuff. Don't know if I remember how to make one of those droppers from memory either. It's been so long. Oh, we'll need that. Dropper. Actually, let's just put that way over here. Soul sand, dropper, nope, wait a minute, that's not going to work. Soul sand will be there, dropper is going to be over here. This is going to be water. Just enough, fantastic. Good times. And I'll do that so we can see what's going on. And I guess I should probably do this in wood. I do tend to like to design the back ends of my redstone, so I might come back and change this a little bit, but for now, leave it like that. And then this needs the auto dropper thingamabobber. Can I do that here? It's a two by three footprint. It might affect that hopper, but it might not be a big deal. Might as well go back up and get some extra stuff. dark. I didn't know zombie piglings could hold crossbows either. Okay, I need Bruce. And I should have all of the things, but I'm going to bring some dust in case I've lost some. Oh, I should have brought ladders. Uh, how do I remember how to do this? I think it's 
comparator into a block into redstone block repeater block and then there needs to be a block Somewhere, is it here? Right, that reads contents, that sends that power. This goes in here, this needs redstone on top of it. And that powers this. Something happened. I used to know how to do this, I swear. It should empty. Yeah, you always have to look it up. Me too. Me too. I know there's like a second layer to it. I should have looked closely at it before I dismantled it. That is reading the contents which says this, so powered. What I want that to do is it does blink. So we're just not getting a, this seems correct. It's just that we're not getting a, a signal to the dropper. Yeah, the dropper is not getting powered. I thought that was how. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, have the hopper enter the top, and then have have it go the other way. Could do that too. That's possible. We have the room. That doesn't make any sense. I know I've done this in a smaller footprint. See, it's not repeating, right? That's the problem. Like it should empty no matter what. Like it's only doing one at a time. And I can't do that because we're getting a, we're getting more than one ingot. Uh, is redstone locking the hopper? Um, it is when it's on, but this should this should constantly cycle. If there's something in here, it should basically empty the hopper. I need to look this up real quick. It's an old, old, old design. I don't know if I have any nearby either. Unfortunately, it is not as easy to find as I thought it was going to be. The redstone must touch the side of the comparator. Thank you. That's what it was. 
repeater. Thank you. Uh, but now we need is it so it's doing the thing it's just that still this isn't still getting power So I don't care if that's that hopper is being locked and unlocked, right? Like if we put iron up here, is that constantly backing up? That's not good. So it's all going into the hopper. A uh, target block? I've done this without a target block. I mean, I have one somewhere, but like I've done it without one. Can't seem to find the example. It was an old mumbo jumbo thing that I stole. a block behind the dropper. The redstone should touch the dropper in any way. But I, uh, hmm. I know I've done this right before. Are there any farms nearby that would use this? I'm curious now. One of those things where like, you know, you know, you know how. Um, I just can't seem to find it online. I know I've got auto droppers in the meadows somewhere. I'm assuming underneath the pumpkin farm. We've got a water system, so this has to be auto dropper stuff going on. Yeah, here it is. Right. Okay, so. Ah, I'm missing this bit. So. Repeater into redstone. I knew there was like a second level to it. So I got most of the way there. This, that's what I'm missing. These, those two blocks. I think that still works. I mean, I guess <laughs> it should work. Yeah, there's only one one spot in there. I knew I've done it before. The hard part, of course, and I'm sure that a lot of people on Twitch know exactly what they're talking about. It's just it's difficult in Twitch chat to articulate redstone instructions. Johnny and I have talked about that on the Spawn Trunks before, too. It's a very visual visual learning um, platform, I guess, for us. Okay. Uh, there. And there. There. And there. Beautiful. Good stuff, good stuff. Now I just need to put in the other parts of the water. So that will come up there and 
I guess for the sake of clarity, we'll use some glass. Oh no, Turing, it's, I mean, backseating is one thing when somebody is, is, um, not asking for it, but when you're obviously stuck and you're talking to chat back and forth, I, I don't consider that backseating, but thank you for being aware of it. Cause yeah, it's kind of annoying when people do that. Uh, I'm going to need some help from somewhere. I mean, it's not like it's a huge, huge thing. Do I have any kelp? Yes, I'm staring right at it. You know you've had a bit of a long day when, right? And... Don't have any slabs to carry the blowback, but we'll worry about that in a second. Got ahead of myself. Okay, now we can just go over here. And do the glass. Launched. Boobliz are in place. Good stuff. And now we just need to open this up. I need a trapdoor. Oh, come on, ladder. Goes there. And now we just need a trapdoor to keep that from coming back. And this should go all the way around the corner. Of course it doesn't because of the trapdoor. Oh, it skips. Wow. Sweet. I'm going to put some ice there just in case, but... That works. And ice. 
Oh, can you put kelp on soul sand now? I didn't realize that. That should work now anyway. Uh, so, as per usual, there's always one little thing. I'm going to get a couple of more trapdoors. Auto droppers are a little a little sporadic. With this kind of stuff, I tend to like to see what's happening. So if you have to troubleshoot, you can at least see where you went wrong. Whoops. Looks like it's working pretty consistently for me. I'll call that a win. A lot of this is just proof of concept, and then after that we can refine it, make it look nice, keep it tidy, make it accessible if I ever need to go down there. I, I like doing all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, we are all going... I don't know why you're going in there. Just that the hopper isn't picking it up, I guess. Water is a little bit too deep. So I guess the easiest thing to do here would just be to um, block this off temporarily. Thanks very much, Sandy. Appreciate it. We're good. We have hooked it up. It is raining, but we have done, done the things. I think we just have a little bit of a spillover, but like again, this this is a constant farm. I don't know why I'm worried about losing stuff. It just it really doesn't matter. Plus, like, look, <laughs> we're fine. Everything's fine. We're all good here. How are you? Cool. There's a hole there. There's a hole there. Well, folks, that's where I'm going to wrap things up for the day and pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me just see who's live real quick here. Do a little refresh. Uh, you know what? I'm not seeing too many folks. We have not raided Drathmore in a dog's age. So we're going to pass you along to someone playing Minecraft just like Drath. I think you'll enjoy your afternoon. Some really epic builds. Uh, it is an 18 plus channel. So just be aware of that if you have some small eardrums on your lap or in the vicinity. And I will, of course, see you all on Wednesday when I stream next. We'll be back here probably finishing up the guts of this and trying to do the technical stuff. Very, very cool. Happy with the way that this turned out. We will um, refine it now that we have kind of like what we want and go from there. We also, have, of course, need to add some shulker boxes. But I will see you all next time. Check out the Patreon. Check out the podcasts. Bye for now.